Right, so we've just been called by a vet surgery who have got a very collapsed kite in. Um, they can't take it in because of the risk of avian flu at the moment. They're having to be very overcautious. Um, so they brought it straight to us and hopefully the guy should be arriving at my drive by the time I get to the bottom of it right now. Hi, young man. Hi, yeah. How are you doing? Well done, all right. <laughs> Bit bloody chilly tonight, isn't it? Oh, that's fine. Where's said kite in the back? I don't know what's going on. Everybody right. thought it was dead. I walked up to have a look to see what it was. It's, it's in a box. Right, okay. And it was definitely it stood up and it went to the toilet when I put it in, when I went to pick it up. Okay? Right. But it hasn't moved a lot. Well done, that man. Are you still with this baby? Hey, where are you, Twinkle? Come on then, sweet one. Oh, little creeps. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's looking loads better than what it was. Hello, sweetheart. How yeah. you doing? Do you know what? I'm so pleased. That that's How all you right. doing? Well, you're beautiful. So, so do, do we know exactly where he was found? Just on the grass in the front garden. I've got a feeling he was just freezing cold. Yeah. Because he actually had icicles on his back. Yeah, I felt that. Right, we'll get it. He or she warm. Yeah. Thanks very much. Come on then, let's get you a bit warmer, hey, shall we? Shall we get you a bit warmer, my bird? Fancy having ice on you. Get you in a place first, then we'll find you something to eat, shall we, hey? There we are. He's not out of the woods by any distance, but let's get him warm first. Right, let's find some food. Picked it up and it died. I love how they play. Yeah, I'll get it. And then Simon has to speak in a weird voice. Yes. So, 814. So, what's the ideal kite? He's in normal range if it's a oh. male. Go. <laughs> Look, much bigger area for you to play. Uh, it's ready to go. I'm not playing that dead. No. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. I'm going to be dead for a while. I've died. Not that dead. Yep. He wants to go. Right, let's take you home. <laughs> Come on, then, fella. You're going home. So, this might not look the best place to release the kite, but it was exactly where he's found. And literally about 500 yards that way, there's woodland. There's a meadow just over there, so it's in a built-up area, but you'll find his way home. I have a dead kite. I have a dead kite. I don't want to go anywhere. Oh no, he's very ready to go, but I'm going to put him down here, and I think he'll go off quite quickly. Look. It's something stunning. Every time, it's just a stunning thing. Even for this distance, they still look large, don't they? Yeah. He's happy, look at that, right up now. And going oh, high, oh, he's so still pleased. going, look at that. Look, hey! That's a pretty gorgeous sight, man. Thank you very much, Anna. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button. And make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.